Hello? Can you hear me? A little bit hot outside, but <laughs> inside it's okay. How hot is it? There. It's almost, but it's, I don't like that. Um, yeah, lots of humidity. Yeah. Yeah, well, here it's just, it's been really cold and harvest and everything is, is really delayed. Stuff is still green and it should be ripe. And so we're looking at frost coming up soon. And so big challenges. So, yeah, what do you do? Can't change the weather, right? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> And if I could, I would. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. Yeah. Nice, hate it no more. Your water was a Zeitung, where she drinks in the back. No. See how many people come in here, but uh, I, I was trying to tell Double Grau that I have a very slow internet connection right now. It's very spotty, and I hope it lasts for the meeting, at least so that we can get something done here, but I'm only at 0.78 megabits down. I'm going to mute. You still there? Hello? Brian, I'm putting you in as host. Uh, my connection is really unstable, so I'm afraid that uh, I'm just, it's going to keep dropping out on me. Uh, my internet's really bad. So hopefully, if you can host it, it that way, uh, the whole meeting doesn't drop out. I'll type that in. Video stream, maybe we can hear better then. Did you get that, uh, Brian? Did you hear that? Sorry, you're you're muted, Brian. I, I can't uh, I can't hear you. Can you disable your video? Yes, no, I like can. On your end, Wilbert. I will. That should work better. Seems to be working better now too. Yes. Good. Uh, do we? I guess this is it for now. Hopefully, can can everybody hear me? Yes. Great. Yes, way better now. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, we can complain to Bell uh, in, at my ISP. <laughs> Uh, anyhow, I guess a uh, long time since we talked, the last time was in May, um, by my recollection. So lots has happened since then. I'm wondering uh, what your guys' thoughts are on where, where we should go and what we should do. Um, I realize it might not be the best time for everybody to meet during the week, but uh, this is all that kind of worked out for me at the moment.
we're having a real hello hello we're, we're having a ears here the audio Okay, Wilbert sent me to have the uh, show it and read that. Um, well, I know there's things that I would like to talk about. I mean, there's, there's a lot of things that, of course, we, we certainly can talk about. But um, I know, Andreas, you're Open GPS is used in Europe, and that's kind of coming to. That's um, becoming more obvious all the time. That this isn't this isn't about where I live. I uh, am not a North American thing at all, really. So, I'd kind of like to know, Andreas and and Dabo, what. What are some burning issues? I mean, we don't have a lot of time. We only have an hour. Let, let's talk about the big things first. Uh, I've, been, I've been trying to do more videos on how stuff works, how it operates. I've start, started a tutorial series on what all the buttons mean, going through the menus. What stuff does, a tutorial series first, and um, what the, uh, and the wiki, the wiki needs to be updated. And it's a lot of work, all that sort of stuff. And who wants to do it? Who wants to head it? And Andres and I were, were on Telegram yesterday. It's a pretty stable product now. We know what works. We know what doesn't work. I think we're kind of at a point where we can kind of finalize some things and decide on some things. So Andres, I'd like to hear from you about that. Okay. Um, what the big things, I think um, software works very good now. Um, problem was uh, with the sketch and with the different setups. So I think that the, the sketch which is now in the PCB version 2, I think uh, it will work everywhere. And that's very good because some parts available some parts are not available you can get it sometimes not so used uh, everywhere in the world i think that's very good and some users are handling up from one part to another, so all don't start with the ADS, for example. And um, yeah, I think this, this sketch, uh, is sketch. Yes, uh, I think that the sketch as it is now is uh, very good, and um, we should see uh, how it works. Um, the problems nah, sound not very good. Can you hear me? Okay. Um, there's some, some, some things uh, here what is needed in Europe. This, uh, it's um, um, more safe favor AP curves. You understand? Uh, uh, can you say that one more time? So you save the AP.
equivalent. <laughs> Sorry, like some of the specifics. Um, we specifics. We just talk about general. Just talk about this with with of course Wilhelm about making a single idol. If we, then the, the, one of the problems when someone asks for help, the first thing you got to ask is which idol are you using, which board are you using. Edge. Right. Yet. So it's the best way is uh, to have the sketch in the Edge Open GPS and uh, at the folder and uh, rename it at the standard sketch. So user should use always the last sketch. At the moment, there are some users driving with the newest version and using a 10 month old sketch. Yeah. So there are problems. But um, uh, if the PCB is not available or finished, and not a lot of people are using them. So I think there are the most users are putting the parts together, soldering it and do it uh, how we start to make it on a good or something else. So the, ma the majority of the builds are point to point wiring? Uh, like, like, like just putting wiring together, like just wiring the parts together using yes. uh, DuPont clips and I think the, the most users are wiring. I think 90, 95%. I think there are so many users working with PCB. Uh, I tried to make one from what I get from, from Recopy, but uh, soldering is not easy. If you make some errors, uh, I take uh, damage my board and I give it away. But we will see. But then, do you think a lot of people won't order Doppelgrau's board because it is so complicated? Or does that not matter? Like, like Doppelgrau, where do you where do you see your board fitting in? Well, um, I found a distributor um, and currently waiting on, on a final quote, but that is willing to produce the boards and fulfill all the regulatory stuff needs in Europe. What, what I once mentioned with all the redoubled ah, and whatever. So uh, even if the, making the board is quite complex um, or quite complicated, um, I think using it could be quite easy because, um, well, if the final quote is um, in the price range, we, uh, we have discussed, uh, or I have discussed with, with um, the distributor, um, I'll be able to sell a completely set up board with all parts on it. So um, you have only um, put your um, sketch or whatever you will call it, the software on the board and connect um, all, the, all the stuff you want and you're, you're done. So I think using it, is quite easy. Soldering it, if you have no experience, it's a nightmare. 
Um, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it says about 160 small SMB parts, or I think, no, no, not 160, I think the large parts are counted in 160, so only 140 small SMB parts. Um, so soldering it, it's a, it's a nightmare, but using it, um, I think it should be quite easy. Just put the F9P on the setters. You have their connectors uh, with fitting plugs for power, mo motors, uh, up to three outputs for u turn relays, maybe giving you the sound when you reach um, the U-turn point. Ethernet, can both 12 volt inputs, 5 volts for the ADS, and even uh, RS2, RS2 output. So I think using it, it's quite simple. And if I can sell it as a Was as a selling price that includes the F9P? No. Board. If if uh like the boards that we send away and you get the PC board, they, I mean, it's China. They can, they will do anything for you. Do we have an idea? Like if it was just a simple auto steer board, just like the, the PCB that we make, any idea how many people would want a PC board? And yes, ordering from China is at an, at an sink. I can't help but think that there's a business opportunity here for somebody. <laughs> you know, the numbers add up pretty quick. Yeah, the, 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 this is all this regulatory stuff. I don't know if you have something there, but uh, as I said, said once on the forum, um, if I sell 20 PCBs to someone in the States and he sells them one by one back, the problem is solved, except we have paid a few hundred bucks to DHL or whatever company is shipping this stuff. Um, but the, the regulatory stuff is if I, sell, if I sell it in Europe, I have to fulfill um, the regulatory stuff like, like um, paying for the disposal of, of the used stuff. Right. And if, um, if I sell outside, well, it's not, not pro no problem. And if if someone buys um, it from outside, in theory, he has to make sure that the disposal stuff isn't made. But in, in reality, no one cares as long as you don't start selling it to someone else. So th that's the reason why I went to the di distributor. Um, and yeah, it, it makes the PCB a bit more expensive because, well, they need um, to live too. And of course, um, labor cost is higher in Germany than somewhere in Shenzhen or wherever the Chinese people are making it. that much but it really depends on the parts i um, just once try to calculate not not getting an estimate because of the regulatory stuff but they are with, an, with their online um, calculators um, and um, there i got it well,
depend of course on, on the number if you just wanted to make one i think it was a few hundred bucks but if you ordered around 100 pieces it was about i think it was a bit less than 100 i don't know if it was euros or us dollars but that's not so much so i would say in the end it costs uh, about a bit two two thirds to half of, of the european price And of course, if you want to, to make a few hundred thousands, uh, you could get totally different numbers, but I don't yeah. don't that's realistic. Volume discount. <laughs> <laughs> like everything. Um, Johannes, um, a question. Um, um, how many um, parts, what's the min uh, parts you have to order at what out? Um, well, there is no definite minimum number, but because of, of some fixed costs, the minimum number of re reasonable number is fi about 50 PCBs. Okay. So um, it could be also be possible to make spray sport also at water order? I, I would guess so. So that would also be a possibility uh, also to build the board here in Europe. So so um, problem if it, I think that's that's it or people like to give five, 50 more and it's finished. What about uh, what about using like Kickstarter or something like that? So you get a commitment up front and then just get the boards made. Like it's not a it's not a phony product. Like we many of us all over the world have been using the PCB. Uh -huh. A lot of people here in, in North America have built a board and it even the version one. I still use the version one board. It works just fine. And the version two. Um, is that something that? would be maybe good in this sort of situation where you could get 200 orders and then you could say you know to a company in china we have 300 boards that we want made for this price because now you have you have commitment of people in this particular situation I'm not saying we should do it for these that it's chicken and egg you don't want to make 300 boards and then sit there with sit there with your in your closet and you have 300 people out there who want a board but don't have anywhere to order it and that's the whole idea kickstarter it's like paypal for parts yes you get commitment on both sides you get the board made and it's done well, I, I would say it, it has some advantages, but um, I don't know if the um, advantage is so large um, that it makes sense to get all the yeah, well, said, effort to set up a Kickstarter cam campaign. Because as you write on your software, you don't um, produce products for heavy machinery. We make software or hardware for experimenting in, in our labs. Um, so we, the Kickstarter campaign would be so, something like for an ESP or Arduino I/O board, which doesn't sound so interesting. And um, at least with the prices from Vatarov, uh, where with the distributor I was talking with, um, the price. The pricing isn't changing so much with higher ordering values. So if I order uh, 300 boards instead of 50, I would guess I could the selling price could be around 150, 160 euros. Of course, this is about 20% off. But on the other hand, um, you have all, this, all the Kickstarter campaign stuff you needed, and um, 
So I don't know if it's really worth um, the effort. And if you go to China and choose 300 in China, you have all the, again the distribution problem because the people in China usually want to ship 300 boards to one person, and that person should take care of all the, the other stuff. And yeah, and that's again, I, I had thinking about ordering in China myself, but this was all the regulatory stuff that held me back. Yes, I think it's the same. It's too complicated to have a Kickstarter campaign. Uh, to ask questions to user if they like it and you can see okay we would need 100 we need 150 and um, maybe we could, we could uh, produce a board in America and then one in Europe I think that's not the worst problem um, what it's needed is one person would like to do it so it's many many work to sell it to look do you have the money to put it to the soldering is usually yeah. Yeah, well, more, more work than setting up a pick and place machine and putting all the parts on the board so if you want to make a com commercial Arduino board I, I think the way to go is This is a diode. See the bar on the one side, bend the leads, put it in the board, solder the two ends. If yes. there was a video like that. 20% will do it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I have some knowledge in soldering, but making it's not easy so you you need a, a lupe uh, some to have to, to see bigger you need a, a very good soldering hardware it's it's i think it's not so easy for for the most we are farmers and we are no electricians i think i can do it but it is hard for me have you built have you built one Andres? Yes. But it fails. Nah. I, I don't know what what is uh, what's happened but I have uh, 12 volt on everywhere. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. Where's this camera? I need better lighting. There we go. Yeah. That's, That's the relay nice. board. That's the relay board. Eight in, eight out. Extremely durable. They're automotive 20 amp relays. It's really small. It's the size of the auto steer board. Fully protected inputs and outputs. Um, there's so much we could do. <laughs> but you just need ah these are tough questions anyway i, I think of course it's, it's harvest right now for us so there's not a lot of time for anything but um i think i need to look into the the getting the pc book that is obvious if there's a con 
decision that we can make. It is obvious that people make their own PC board. That's not going to happen. So either get it made or someone, someone else assemble them and then have them available for sale or have them made in China or completely design a new board. So at least, at least come to that conclusion. Are you start the company? Yeah, I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Life's too short. <laughs> <laughs> um, people uh, having pull requests and oh my God, for me that has been so frustrating. And then the entry problem came up and that was really frustrating because I was fairly convinced that the problem was with Antrip because it worked on a previous version. I've done a lot of changes to how NMEA comes into Ag Open GPS. I hope that you guys saw the video on, on what happens when Ag Open GPS is looking for NMEA signal. Um, it's, it's complicated and it has to be fast and it keeps coming at different times and you have windows and it's really, really tricky, but I think it works really well. Now, why people with lots of sentences sending it to Ag Open GPS, why that doesn't work, I'm not sure, but it's critical that you only have GGA and VTG or just RMC, the minimum amount of information coming in. Because if, if we were a manufacturer, we could coordinate the PCB with the software. But unfortunately, we can't do that. So Ag Open GPS has to constantly kind of keep polling and looking for it. And you don't want 50 or 100 milliseconds. I mean, that's the way the old way was, where 50 or 100, milli 100 milliseconds went by before you took that new information. And if you were driving 15 kilometers an hour, 100 milliseconds is a long ways. So the, the new system is within 10 milliseconds now. It'll, if the sentence is really, really, man, that thing follows the line really well using the MMA and, and the brick and that sort of thing. But um, what am I trying to say? I think the majority of the problems I'm seeing is GPS setup and not necessarily with Ag Open GPS. Is there a way that that can be resolved? You see people really struggling with the F9P. Is that what you guys are seeing too? The F9P is working very well. Very good. It is six or seven sentences to Ag Open GPS. Uh, because um, um, some people take the F F9P as they get it and they pull it Hook in it up. and it, it, it runs and then it sends or, or available G or available and it may have sentences and that's a six or a seven. So yeah. um, we have files to send it and it works. So. Um, should, should that be on Ag Open GPS as well? The files? Yes. Yes, I can send you one. Or I did uh, post it yesterday at the combined forum. Okay, so good. It, it's no problem. It's, it works with 8, eight hertz with uh, GGA and VTG, only these two sentences. And uh, all other outputs are disabled. It works only USB. And that's hundred percent bulletproof. Good. I think that's a good solution. We'll make another directory in there. Which which brings us back to GitHub. How do we do updates and pull requests and all these additions from other people, like the C steer switch? Um, and then that's why I was talking about Ntrip. Had to go back a few versions trying to figure out what was broken, but there's nothing broken. But in the process, I lost steer steer switch again, and I don't have a copy of it. Um, 
I'm trying to ask Ray Bear to send me a copy of the of the pull or create another pull request. How do we deal with updates and people wanting to add code? I know GitHub should should be the answer here, but I am just frustrated as hell with Git GitHub. Well, I think there are um, two things you m might want to consider. One is currently all the binary releases are included in the norma normal repository, which is considered not the best practice. Yeah. Um, so um, this um, one point that you might want to get binaries out and use the release feature if you want to have something stable. And um, or what you, you could consider stable, experimental, whatever, at least what you consider other people, they should be able to run it. Um, and then um, GitHub, usually, you, if you develop, usually you use tons and tons of branches. So if you try a new feature, you make a branch, and if you're happy with the result, then you merge it back in your main repository, and then it's usually not really a problem because you have the different commits and merge. And it's usually quite clear, at least in my opinion, what went. So Christian taught me some things, how to work with branches and so on and so on, but it's not easy. No. And in the end, the person in charge is always, the, as you said, the dictator who decides what gets in and it gets out. And in the project, you, you need this person, if it's one person or two, three persons agreeing on, even with Linux, you have the same thing in the end. Linus Torvalds decided if it goes in or not. He, of course, he has his maintainer of the subsystem that take, usually take care of it, of the subsystems, and this tells or talks with the other developers that want to contribute. And usually, Linus trusts the maintainers. If they say that it's okay, then he usually trusts the decisions. But in the end, you have, need, always need someone who's decided in, in this repository, this is the official version, this gets in, this don't. And yeah, if someone is un unhappy, he can fork it. And if too many people are un unhappy, well, then we have another fork which starts living. I think what we have seen with the own cloud stuff, I think it's a year ago, uh, people were getting unhappy with the company supporting it, and now there is, exists also the next cloud software, which is uh, yeah started on the same code base and now walked a bit away, away from each other. So, should we have a repository? with just the binaries like just the executable like just the program itself and one for source code um, no you don't need a separate repository you, you usually have one repository with only the source code in the, inside and then you you can use the release feature and with the release feature you can add files for example a zip file of all the binary folder and this release is tied to a specific state in time um, for in the source code release. So you can see this binary should be made out of this source code. But is, and um, so you need all, 
And um, well, of course, it means you have to upload the binaries when you make a new release. But it also has the advantage that non-experienced users won't get um, intermediate development versions where you might have uploaded some changes or in the source code, um, which is currently not so well. Is is might be completely untested or whatever, um, because they're seeing on the release page the latest well released version. And I think there's even a feature to mark a release a pre-release. So to say, that's why people have websites. And then yep. 11 minutes left. Yeah. yeah. So maybe we can find a person who can maintain it and um, a good suggestion is if to have a video meeting only about GitHub. Well, Andrew just offered that his son, what is it again? Um, did, did everyone, can everyone see the, Zoom, the group chat? Andrew said, Andrew's from Australia. Uh, he, his son, Travis, could, could co-administer. and He could administer the whole thing as far as I care. Um, <laughs> but certainly co-administer. add names I can add I somebody the day before downloaded and did their changes right and then they, they take three days to do it and pull request and then I updated in the meantime if I do a pull request all their changes are gone usually not when you um, do it correctly and you yeah that's doing it wrong <laughs> then um, you, you get Either the pull request, when it's done, say there's getting conflicts because it can't be merged because you change the same files or same part of the files, or else um, the changes will be merged. And if you pull the changes locally the next time, then the changes made on, on the GitHub page also get on your computer. But that also means before starting you change it, you should also make a pull because else your local repository gets out of sync. Yes, and then even if you, I, I tried it a couple different ways and the problem with the Windows application is the resource file gets corrupt. You know, kind of no matter, if you, if you make another branch and you have a second branch, it seems like you can't, well, you can pull all the code in, but the resource file gets corrupt. I have, I have no, no, so, so much experience with the uh, um, Windows coding, so I can't really tell you if the resource file is part of the binary release. So it shouldn't be even inside the first currently, or if there's ways to solve the problem, because um, I, it, Microsoft bought GitHub a few months ago and made the integration even better in the, in, um, in the studio. So I think. This problem should be solvable, but I have no yes. idea because I'm most of the time, if I'm doing some, I'm doing command line programming for, for Linux or Java programs that have a totally different environment. So I think, yeah, that, that's a, currently a problem, but I think there sh might be or should be even a solution, but like because I can't think that Microsoft.
questions. And um, what we need to do is not have such a large time gap between meetings. Like it's been a lot of months and perhaps we get Wilbert to schedule, schedule another one within a week or two would be nice. And maybe talk about some of those things on combine form. But uh, really just wanted to know is having a single INO, having just the two, two PC boards, can we narrow down the parts like the MMA At least in my opinion, who, who will maintain it? Uh, separate section, that might be a nice option on the combined form. I Yes, and then be part of the stable. Apparently, it's not the the hard part. Isn't the writing the code? It's just bringing the code in, <laughs> which is. <laughs> so, I think we're. I think we only had an hour. Is that correct, Wilbert? Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm the guy in the the phone icon there. Uh, we do only have an hour. I did uh, actually pay for. Uh, I upgraded Zoom so we have unlimited minutes, but um, I think it'd be nice to keep it to just an hour for everybody's time's sake. Uh, I missed a lot of the meeting there. My internet connection was just in and out, so uh, hopefully it was stable for you. Yep. Um, good. Um, I don't know if I got everything. I put a poll there in the bottom. Um, Maybe you saw that. I don't know if that was all the things we discussed, but I think what I'd what I'd really like to do is put up on the combine form a, a kind of a poll or Google questionnaire or something. But I would like some input on on some things that you would like to hear from all the users of Ag Open GPS. Right. Um, and uh, maybe I'll just start a new thread there, uh, and then if. I think if the more people we'd have answer some of those questions, then I think it would help to move things along. We should, we should also have another thread of frequently asked questions. And I guess that's what the wiki is for. So, yes. I'm glad Andreas is going to completely rewrite the wiki this week. Uh, I'm too I'm too slow to write in the wiki because you are so fast with coding. <laughs> oh, it's down a whole lot. <laughs> yes, uh, it's so easy to change the the wiki, but uh, at the end there are two or three people who are doing it, and that's that's the problem. Fifty people are asking, and it is and it is, but if you say write some to the wiki it don't happen so it's not easy yeah i mean it, it takes a lot of it takes a lot of time to write a wiki but it also takes a lot of time answering the same question 27 times yes so that like i say that's why i've been spending time on some videos it's time well spent and it just needs to be done and they can all be linked in with the wiki and so uh but while it's 11 o'clock, I better, I better run here. Um, Silent. <laughs> the, the okay. That sounds great, Brian. Uh,
Um, thanks very much. Yeah, Lincoln. So I'd just like to thank everybody for. For dealing with, we'll try uh, with that. I think we'll probably end it here and we'll say bye till next time. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Okay, bye bye. Brian, you might actually have to hit the end meeting button. I do end meeting for all? Yep.